Has your organization adopted Agile? If the answer is no, you have some catching up to do. Of course we use Agile. Good. Then you know about having higher efficiency, better visibility, and adaptability for higher value and lower risk. Yeah, sure. And you also know the days of releasing a product every 12 to 18 months are coming to an end. Some would even say, the train has left the Agile station. Next stop, continuous practices and DevOps, where development functions are merged with delivery and operations functions. Well, yes. Adopting these practices could also mean enabling continuous delivery of software, and perhaps even continuous deployment with live updates to networks and devices. Sounds visionary. However, embedded software developers have a unique factor to consider, the target hardware. Your target hardware is simply not available at all times to all engineers. You also have huge amounts of configuration combinations, which takes a long time to cover during testing. Tell me about it. We spend weeks in test loops. These challenges prevent engineers from working cross-functional. They keep the silos between design, development, test, and integration. They also prevent automation, one of the cornerstones of agile and continuous practices. Furthermore, they cause long lead times, we're talking days and weeks instead of minutes and hours. Okay, maybe we aren't as agile as I thought. These issues are slowing down adoption of modern practices, causing an efficiency lag, long lead times, and increased operational costs. I guess you can't be completely agile with embedded software development. Really? Is that the way it has to be? What if you had freedom from target hardware so that your software developers were not dependent on access to physical target hardware? Huh? What do you mean? Think about it. Access, collaboration, and automation. It's these three components that mean the difference between being stuck with cumbersome, antiquated techniques versus implementing the modern, efficient practices that can turbocharge your organization. Sure, that makes sense, and we've actually increased access, collaboration, and automation by building out hardware labs, so we're gaining efficiency, but the increasing hardware costs are ridiculous. We can't afford to keep this up. I see. Well, actually, with system simulation, you can increase your efficiency and reduce your hardware spending. How does that work? And why are you telling me this? Just like a computer on every desk revolutionized the workplace, we want to revolutionize embedded development by putting a virtual target on every engineer's desk. Simix can put your complete target end system inside your host machine, accessible and shareable at any time, by anyone you choose. So it's all just software? Yes, precisely. It's all just software. And on Simix, you run all of your software unmodified from the highest level application down to the firmware, which means you can now develop, test, and run your production software instantly. You mean we could have an always up 24 seven lab for everyone? Yes, precisely. And it also means you can automate your tests and reconfigurations of hardware variants and scale out tests by making them parallel. That could cut lead times down to minutes. Indeed and your engineers can communicate faster and easily share their test results, system states, and configurations so that everyone would instantly have the same system setup and information. Wow, that's like a collaboration platform for everyone. Right. You can even define your system virtually so you can try things before making physical hardware decisions or doing physical tape out. We could save a lot of money doing that. By virtualizing and automating, Agile and continuous methodologies become reality in the embedded world. Aha! Uh -huh. Using system simulation, you can start working agile for real. Lead times are so short that your teams can now work cross-functional, just as it's meant to be with agile. You now develop, test, integrate, and automate anything, anywhere, anytime. And continuous integration can even evolve into continuous delivery or deployment. I see it now. System simulation even enables your hardware spending to go down while your efficiency goes up. Your developers are happier, the quality of your products is better, and you can ship to your customers faster. Yes, I love it. This is how Simix enables agile and continuous practices for embedded software development. Define virtually. Develop agile. Deploy continuously.